So it's the word family members have been waiting years to hear, and the word is guilty. Billy Shermir-Mir is going to spend the rest of his life in prison after a jury found him guilty of one out of about two dozen suspected murders. CBS 11's J.D. Miles was in the courtroom for that emotional moment when the verdict was read. This was a stunningly fast verdict for a capital murder trial. The jury deliberated less than an hour, a testament to the overwhelming evidence against Billy Chamirmir. At this time, uh, having a jury of 12 that have found you guilty of the offense of capital murder. Billy Chamirmir showed no visible sign of emotion when the jury foreman announced the guilty verdict in the courtroom after four days of testimony. <laughs> But there was a lot of emotion on display among dozens of family members of elderly women. Investigators say they were smothered to death with their pillows inside area senior living centers. On behalf of the many victims, we are incredibly relieved that justice is finally here, especially after the mistrial five months ago. That mistrial last year because of one holdout juror forced victims' families to testify again about the horror of finding out that the deaths of their elderly loved ones were not from natural causes, but instead at the hands of the 45-year-old Kenyan immigrant who would later steal his victims' valuables. Dallas County DA John Crusoe delivered the state's closing argument and held up one of the pillows used as a murder weapon. This man was one of the worst serial killers this century and one of the worst in this state ever. Shamir Mir was only tried for one murder, but accused of as many as 24. He was caught because one victim survived, and cell phone data linked him to others. Former Dallas Cowboy Cliff Harris is the son-in-law of one of the victims. And uh, justice prevailed, and I was, I know our whole group is so happy. The murders have turned a harsh spotlight on security at retirement villages that these family members say was horribly inadequate because residents reported on multiple occasions that Shamir Mir was trespassing. And we would hope that these laws that we're working to enact and put in place and what we've gone through here, that these communities wake up and hold themselves accountable that when the residents go to the management and say, listen, there is a trespasser or this person doesn't look right, that they don't dismiss it. Even though this verdict carries a life sentence with no possibility of parole, there will be a second capital murder trial to ensure that if this conviction is for some reason reversed on appeal, Chamir Mir will never get out of prison. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., we thank you. And family